I just thought I was having an anxiety attack. came downstairs and got on the computer. And all of a sudden, I just started feeling super nauseous and super dizzy, and my arms started hurting. And that was kind of the symptom I was getting over and over again, was just this throbbing pain in my, my shoulders. She was very flush. She felt nauseated, a bit short-winded. I went and got an ice pack, which was unfortunately the wrong thing to do. And I put an ice pack on my chest just to try and calm down. Well, the vasoconstriction of that made the pain worse. I just thought that I was just exhausted, dehydrated, and overwhelmed, um, and then I blacked out. I was wondering, like, is this going to be like the last day that, like, she, if she's here and I get to see her or not? If, without her, I probably couldn't picture life. You had a heart attack. I mean, I was just still, just couldn't believe that that happened. I said, I. I feel fine. I said, no, you did not feel fine, and you know, we need to take care of these extra tests. I was kind of like shocked because I was, didn't think that would ever happen to her. It was like, wow, you're kidding. Obviously, we were all pretty surprised because she hadn't had anything remotely like that before. So that was kind of a shock. When my mom came down to visit us, the cardiologist kept asking, Does, you know, let's go through the family history, which of course you never do until you have an op uh, a situation like this. Very similar age to mine, and um, very much a genetic component of what's going on. Nine o'clock at night, I was carrying a laundry basket downstairs, and my arms started hurting, that pain, just that real dull ache again. I said, I know I'm having a heart attack. It was like really bad, and if she didn't like do anything quicker, that could have been like life or death. So it was really like scary. I was also very surprised because I thought it'd only be happening once. And then the news came: uh, not only were you having a second heart attack, but we better understood what was taking place with your heart, and it was really a, a full blockage in a very small heart vessel. The American Heart Association says life is why, and my why is my family. I'm so grateful to the American Heart Association and, and the donors who pay for the research that makes it possible for patients like me to take these life-saving drugs. I know there's so many other women um, that need this, and without the American Heart Association and the funding and the research, I might not be here today. I can't imagine what the worst case scenario would be, because being without my mom would not be a happy life. Seeing her go through that pain has been like hard for me because I don't want anything to happen to her. My mom went from being happy and healthy to just being in the hospital, so you just gotta take every day, one step at a time, and just cherish every moment because you never know when life can just turn instantly on you and just put you in like a life or death situation that you really can't control. The kids, and most importantly, me love Gina, love their mom so much. And to think about having a day where she's just not there, you know, how would life change? And you really don't want to think about it, but you, you have to. And, and it really starts to hit you. Uh, we, we take a lot for granted, uh, especially with our moms.